Smith, showing students how to manipulate the header area of the Python console game version two starter project here in fall 2020. Currently, the version as it stands when it executes, you can move the mouse around the maze and that's all fine. And you have this header full of instructions at the top. So let's edit that a little bit to make it just uh, have a nicer user interface. Instructions is a constant that I could have frankly named X, but it just makes more sense to name it something meaningful, instructions. Things that are constants that really shouldn't change, like the number pi, 3.14, are usually typed in uppercase letters. Whatever's in the double quotes, rather than say hello world, is what ends up printing out on the screen at some point later in the code. So trust me, uh, but watch anyway, if you don't trust me, that if I change this to hello world and run the program, I will see indeed hello world print out in the spot where I used to have instructions. So what if we wanted to space this out a little bit more and not have it be so well horizontally cramped? Instead of these semicolons to separate the separate set thoughts here, instead of that semicolon, I could put backslash, backslash T. A backslash T is um, a tab, but without pressing the tab on the keyboard. Watch. It does not actually print a backslash T here. It actually tabs the W to the next tab zone. If you want to tab twice right here, instead of one backslash T pair of uh, entries, you'd make two backslash Ts or perhaps three backslash Ts. So now I'm going to get three tabs that separate the phrase arrow keys to move from the WASD to move. That's why this is over further to the right, WASD to move. Now let's say that we want this T stamp mode to be on the next line below. So instead of that semicolon there where it says T stamp mode, I'm going to use backslash N. N means new line, whereas T, we already saw, means tab. Furthermore, by putting a backslash T there for Q to quit, and a backslash N for that uh, semicolon, I have the net result of arguably a nicer looking uh, set of directions. This Q to quit right now, I need to tab it over further Q to quit. So I'm going to put another backslash T in there. And actually, I think I'm going to need another one after that. That's uh, that test. Does it line this up the way I meant for it to line up? No, I still need to tab Q to quit one more time since the Q is under the W. So one more backslash T. And that should make that point. I've now sort of kept it consolidated. I could have used backslash N. But now the mouse is able to get out of the board because I just made the instructions more than one line of uh, output. It's, they're now three lines total. Three lines are highlighted here. So right here in my code where it says number of rows and heading, I just added two, two lines, two rows. Let's count. One, two, this blank line counts as three. That's four, five, six, seven. Plus, I think uh, I think we're going to need two more that come into play because of some other screen issues. So nine that is the new number right we need in number of rows and heading. Now, when I move my mouse, the boundary detection is accurate for the top and the bottom. So thanks for watching this video. Just a little bit of uh, explanation as to how backslash T and backslash N and modifying num rows and heading in this particular example can help you dress up the user interface in console game applications using Python. Again, that 
uh, with backslash T backslash N as what are called escape sequences in stored in a variable, which somewhere down below print instructions. Somewhere in this program, I have print instructions. Specifically, currently on line 107 is causing print instructions to actually print those backslash T's and backslash N's. Have a great day.